at 10. Drought a big concern this past summer, and it has been for several years, but this year some farmers say they did all right. Jonathan Fong shows us what farmers did to stay afloat and their outlook on next year. It's first tonight at 10. So this is a very long-term drought and it kind of chips away at the moisture uh, in the state. When we spoke to farmers this summer, the dry weather brought some worries about crop yields. And those conditions are still lingering as the Iowa DNR says this November is one of the driest on record. The concern we have is that over time, if we start 2024 drier than normal, it's going to be even harder for us to make up any moisture deficit. But at the annual Ag Outlook Conference in Davenport, we had yields that were better than we expected. Some farmers have a more positive view. We just all in all had a very good year and we're very proud of the success that we had. Jake Perino grows corn and soybean in Whiteside County. He says seed genetics played a big part in his strong yield this year. We go through with our seed providers and they help tell us, you know, hey, these lines of seed, they're going to be more aimed for more drought tolerance. So if you're in a field that's more susceptible to drought, you're going to want to go with this variety. Al Nachtman is from Delaware County, Iowa. Corn yield went uh, 214 bushel the acre. That was a lot better than I thought during the drought. He says his output met the usual average since he planted his corn crops on soybean ground. Had softer ground there and, and maybe more accessible nitrogen. Despite worries of higher interest rates turning into higher farming costs and biofuel demand slowing down because of the support for electric cars, both Jake and Al think the future will be all right. In Davenport, Jonathan Fong, WQAD News 8.